Welcome to Review Time with ISIP. I'm ISIP, and today we're going to be looking at the Professor Heisenberg uh, Solutions Master Canon. And here's the box that it comes in. Nice little specs. I'll be honest with you, though, I don't think it came with instructions, and that is a bit of a no-no. And you might be saying to yourself, "Well, why is that a bit of a no-no?" I will, I will explain that to you once we get to that part. I will, I promise. So, in the box you get this, which is a uh, blah 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 blah. That's all, folks. Which is, <coughs> excuse me, which is the um, basically a replica of the Fort Max gun, just done up for Titan's Returns. Now, I had a choice between let's let's tilt the camera down. I had a choice between this and um the perfect effects uh, gun which i might go back and get i like it but i don't really feel like it fits the aesthetics of this guy i think this works better this looks g1e but with enough details to make it match i, I think this this was a better a better solution so it's pretty cool it has no lights or sounds it's just it is what it is it has a handle that folds up that's for um so you can put it on to uh, Fort Max in his other modes. Speaking of Fort Max, I've got him out here with those stupid DNA feet, which don't really work too well. Sorry, sorry, flashbacks, flashbacks. So anyway, here we have our Fort Max. Oh, my Fort Max. And hold on. Okay. Get this off of here. Here he is with the Fort Max and the... Now, right off the bat, I had a bit of an issue with this, but it really wasn't with this. The, it turns out the issue was actually with the new hands. If you have the DNA upgraded hands, you are going to have to shave down some of these... See how he's got these regs, raised ridges? You're going to have to shave some of those down in order to get that to slide in. I only did it on one side, I didn't do it on the other side because the fit is so tight that you actually will not be able to get the, the you won't be able to get the, the handle of the gun into Fort Max's new hands. Like the old hands, it works perfectly fine. The old hands work great with this. It, it, it fits just right. The hands that the default hands that came with Fort Max, the new hands though, the ones that you get from DNA Designs, uh, the peg hole is too tight, which is actually a problem that somebody mentioned on one of my videos that I did for this was that they were having an issue getting the 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 guns that come with Fort Max to get in there, and I told them it's a tight fit, but you can fit it in there, and then they were able to get it in there. But the fact that there's a hair on whose hair is this? I don't know if you can you can't see that. I have long hair. Um who you been cheating on me with? Anyway. That said, uh it it looks great. It fits Fort Max's hands really well. I actually originally was going to do do the hands. I mean do the hands. Do the gun and the feet for Fort Max as one video. I was like, oh, I'll just do one video. But I had such an issue with the damn feet. It was so frustrating that I I said screw it and and just left it as it is. I just I I I, 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 I just cut it out. I cut all the gun parts out. Like you see me, you know, the gun is in the hand. And you see me using the gun to point to things, but it's it. I didn't talk about the gun itself because it it the other review detracted so much. This thing is awesome. It looks great. It's. It's not gonna. I, I. I. I'm gonna try not to draw this out. It looks great. It fits. Well, it fits a little tight. Uh, it'll fit great on your default hands. Like I said, if you use these hands, the uh, DNA upgraded hands, you will have to shave down some of the raised, uh, raised ridges on the inside of the handle, so that you can get it to fit in. But once you do that, it's fine. Alrighty. So let's. 
move Fort Max out. And this is, this is, this is, you're like, well, you mentioned you, you wanted this thing to come with instructions. But so far, I don't see any real reason why it's got a peg that, that it has a, a handle that moves. But what else does it do? Well, you can plug this into um, the other modes, like you did with the, uh, the original G1 gun, where you were able to plug, plug it into the side of the tower and whatever. Here's the problem. Do you see a peg sticking out anywhere? Do you? I don't. This is to tell you how well made this thing is. I'm looking all over the place and I'm like, oh, that looks like it, it should be a peg, but it, it, it looks like it's just decorations. So for, I have, I've had this thing for what, a month or so? Two months? Three months? I forget. And the other day I was looking, I'm like, how do I, it looks, it, I see it plugged into the side in, in the, the, in, in the, on the webpage that I bought this from, but I don't see how to do it. And I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that to plug in. I'm looking for something to stick into there. I'm looking for something that might fit here. And then I just happened to do this, and I realized that the middle piece, the middle thing, is actually a peg that moves. So I'm like, oh, look. And I'm like, but how am I going to get that in there? It doesn't come out very much. I'm like trying to pull at it. Then I turned it around, and I noticed that slider. I had this thing all this time, and I did not notice there was a slider here that slides out the peg so that you can plug it into any one of, any one of the, the peg holes that are all over Fort Max's body. You just have to make sure you're holding the slider so that the, it doesn't. But yeah, I, I didn't realize that. And I feel stupid because I had it for so long and I could not figure out how the freaking hell to do it. I just actually found it by accident because I didn't Now Maybe, well, let's, let's be fair. Maybe it did come with instructions and maybe I just lost them on the first day. That's quite possible. I was really excited. A lot of stuff came. I had a lot of work to do on these guys and I had just almost cut my finger off and I and and trying to apply the pressure to change the 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 leg uh ratchets out was making my finger bleed. So, yeah, I was a little distracted. So, I apologize for that uh if I have lost the instructions, but if it doesn't come with the instructions, this damn thing should come with the instructions. And I've watched other people's videos trying to trying to see and it looks like nobody else has really done a video where the the gun plugs into the side they're like oh i can't figure out how to do it so that's a complaint but and uh, that's not necessarily a major complaint you're wondering like, why is he bringing the camera down because i'm going to turn this guy into his other mode so we can check out how the gun plugs in on the other modes but um it sounds like a, a a a small thing, a dumb thing, but the problem is it's part of the functionality of this gun, and you don't even have they don't even have a picture on the box. Where's the box again? Look at the box. Look, okay, there's a hole there. I just noticed there's a hole there. So you don't even they don't even have the the the, the slider on the the peg in there. Look, it's just it's empty. And it says, look, energy propulsion. And it says, hey, look, this thing goes like this. It says energy propulsion. But it doesn't tell you that you can plug this thing in. Or how. Okay. So we've got him basically in his his mode. Let's put the... Forget it. We're not going to... We're, we're going to pretend that Cerebros is in there. We're going to pretend Cerebros is in there. All right. So you take this. Flop this in like that. And then move the slider to whichever side you want to put it on because there's two slidey holes. And I think I want to get another another gun, but there's a peg hole right there. I'm not sure why that's there, but it's there. So you can use that to plug whoops, to plug the gun in. And and now it doesn't want to. Come on, you're making me look stupid. I don't need your help to do that. Actually, that's a pretty big freaking hidey hole. Let's try the other side. Actually, yeah, it fits in. Uh, unfortunately, it just drops right back down. Great. That is just freaking awesome. That is just awesome. So, the peg holes are too loose for the peg. That's not a big deal. I can I can put something there to keep it on there, but it, it it fits. It works. So I mean, you can stick it straight up as a tower, like if you have it in the other mode. So, um, 
Let's go ahead and put him in his other mode. And I'm being really sloppy with Fort Max uh, for the most part. Let's go ahead and get you in a semblance of looking decent. And we'll bring this on back. And, and yeah, look, that, you know, you put it on there and it, it, it looks pretty nice, you know, and provided you thicken up the, thicken up the, um, not thicken up the peg, don't thicken up the peg, because if you do that, you'll never get it to slide back in again, but thicken up the peg hole that it was attached to, and you'll be able to, you'll be able to, um, to get it to work like it's supposed to, and once you got the peg hole open, let's see if this will work, before I say and, Will you work? Yeah. Once you got the peg all open, you can actually add some of these extra bits because it's just a five millimeter, five millimeter hole. And then you can add like extra cannons and stuff to it. So yeah, there's that. So this is actually pretty decent. Just the peg hole there was, I don't think the peg hole there was made for, oh no, that fits in pretty fine. I guess the peg here is a little a little small for it. Let's see. Am I getting it all the way? I'm getting it all the way in. So it's a little a little small for it, but yeah. It's not it's not a huge issue. It's not a huge issue. You know, a little something in there, floor polish, a little piece of paper or something before sticking it in. It'll look it'll look fine. It's not <coughs> excuse me. It's not perfect. Maybe that's why they didn't um it didn't um whatever but i mean i'm just excited that i've got a, a fort max gun that actually attaches that actually attaches um it's it's not i wonder if cerebros can hold it cerebros could probably hold it from that peg um it's not perfect that sucks it should be perfect especially i mean it's 24 dollars but um I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been. It could have been these damn feet. I wish I could send them back. Stupid feet. DNA designs. You really dropped the ball on the feet for this figure, which is so stricken, freaking weird because they work great on Metroplex. How the hell do you get it to work great on the 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 second robot, the robot that that was the afterthought? but screw it up on the main robot that it's supposed to work on. I don't understand. I don't, guys. I don't. What the freaking hell is wrong with you people? Anyway, that said, I'm Isaac. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it informative. Um, and that's it. I, I like this gun. I'm going to get a second one. I'm going to have to thicken up. Maybe I'll thicken up the pegs themselves. Or I'll thicken up the, um, maybe I'll thicken up the pegs. I think I could still slide it around if I had it. the pegs a little thick, thicker. Just the, um, or I'll thicken up the peg holes on the side here. So I don't really use them for anything anyway. I don't really plug anything in there. So I can, I'll thicken those up. So when I put these in, they work for perfectly fine. Either or, I just like this, this, uh, this gun. I love the style of it, and I'm going to get another one. Since they don't have the, uh, nobody's made the, the other G1 gun, which is fine because the other G1 gun really, it was more for base mode than, than hand mode. This can work in both. So that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm Islip. Thanks for watching. I hope you, I, I hope I'm, I'm not going in circles. I feel like I'm going in circles. Am I going in circles? I am. So I'm going to stop the video right here. Thank you one more time. Ciao.